Good morning, everybody. My name is Colleen Light, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I come to you from Kalama, Washington. So it's a small town in Washington State. And um, my website is Cards by Coco. Anyway, if you caught the first two attempts at this live video, the first time it's like I had no command of the English language, and the second time the computer glitched. So hopefully the third time will be the charm. I forgot to announce that I was coming on, so I hope some people find me, but if not, that's okay. Um, hopefully you'll catch the replay on either Facebook or I do put it on YouTube also um, the same day. And I'm almost up to 300 followers on YouTube, so that is pretty exciting for me. Let me see how uneven I look this morning. Maybe I can get this um, not as wonky. Let's see here. I'm gonna try and give it a little switch around so it looks a little bit more even. You know, I always think I have it even until um, I go live. Let's see here. Let's see. Nope. All right. Let's see. I'm looking at the computer screen. I think this is just gonna be as good as it's gonna get because I don't wanna take up our time doing that. So. This here is the card we're gonna make. I'm gonna show you the design of series paper I used. And I, um, this is just a fun one I made. I love this layout. It's simple, it's easy. It's, it's not really a fun fold, but it's just a little bit of a um, different take on this fold. I have to say that I make a lot of Christmas cards. I, I love to send Christmas cards, um, so I make a lot. So although I do some very, um, let's say labor intensive, really artsy ones. For the most part, I like to make things that are easy to mail and um, don't take a ton of time. So I'll go a little bit more towards that simply, simple stamping. Um, before we get going on this, I have a couple of things with Stampin' Up! that are going on, so I'll do a little housekeeping. So if you're catching the replay and you don't want to hear the latest in Stampin' Up! Um, news, just, you know, just swipe at the bottom. And so you can fast forward a little bit to the card making tutorial. Um, Stampin' Up! for the month of September is doing a weekly deal, which is great. Um, I took a glance at it this morning. Um, one of the things I love is that Splendid Day Designer Series Paper, and you all know I love those brushed butterflies, and those are um, this week's weekly deal. The Summer Shadow Dies, and I believe those Summer Shadow Dies go with, they do. So if you got the Shaded Summer um, stamp set and you didn't get the dies, I noticed that the Summer Shadow Dies, so mine are a mess, but anyway, they are on special this week, um, the craft gift boxes. Anyway, there's any number of items on sale this week. So take a peek at that. The other thing Stampin' Up! is doing is they did perfect partners. I have no idea why my computer did not print out in color this go around, but you know, I can't worry about it. Didn't have time to fix it, can't worry about it. So it's called perfect partners. Um, it's bundle and save. I'm just going to read it straight from the paper. Bundle and save during this exclusive sale. These six new dies coordinate with sets in our current catalogs. So they can be, the dies can be purchased separately or in the bundle. And of course, anytime you buy a bundle, you save 10% off. So they added apple blossom dies, fresh cut stems dies, the playful piggy dies. How cute is that? the tree trimming dies. And we're gonna be working with the trees for sale. And I know the tree dies that everyone loved sold out during celebration. But if you really wanted um, a tree with a little bit of detail in it, these um, tree trimming dies just look spectacular. And we have the waterfall dies, and that coordinates with Waterfall Canyon and Yeti to the party. So some really great deals there. Anyway, so that's enough of the housekeeping. Um, keep in mind that the, even though right now we don't have a joining special, just the discounts on the products alone would make it worth um, you, and I would love to sponsor you as a team member, would make it worth you joining because you get the $99 of product for, no, $125 worth of product for $99.
I think I say that backwards each and every time. Okay, card making. Let's go to card making. I'll blog this one later on in the week. Super easy to make. Um, you just need the dimensions and then everything just kind of falls together. But let's go ahead and start this one. We're gonna do a little heat embossing. We're gonna do a little die cutting. I love a black and white card. I just do. I think they're fun. Um, if you don't and you wanted to use this paper, you could actually color this in with your markers or blends or watercolor, watercolor pencils, anything. Let me show you where I got this paper from. <clears throat> this is actually Celebrate Everything and it's a host gift. So it's in this catalog. Hosting is rewarding. It's what it says. So it's at the end of the mini catalog and you get all of these pages, 48 sheets. The best way, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, the best way to earn these host products is to have a party, and I'm happy to host one for you. You don't need, sorry, I just took a sip of coffee. You don't need to have one in your home anymore. We can do it in an hour or so. I would play games, do a whole bunch of different things, tutorials, and I'll do it all online for you. Anyway, look at all these pages. So I just want to do just a quick like little scroll through, because we have like 4th of July things in here. There's Halloween papers and fall papers. There's just so much, all the stars, Christmas. Really, when it says for every season, celebrate everything, there's birthday. Um, it really is celebrate everything. So I think this paper is great. And if you want to host a party, just leave me a message and I am happy to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna switch up our gems. So I'm gonna get started with gems before we do anything else. Um, we're gonna kind of start backwards today because I wanna grab the actually the dark real red. Um, I wanted to put pearls on as my ornaments this time. I'm gonna leave one of them white and then I'm going to do the other ones in this real red. And our basic rhinestones and these pearls you can see I color on them all the time. The Pearl Basic Jewels. You can color on, oops, oh, I just got it all over me. Hang on a second, need to grab a paper towel. A little clumsy this morning, can you tell? Um, all right, let's wipe that off. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so we're just gonna color these. I want them to be dry when I wanna put them on my card. Here's some pumpkin pie ones that I have left over. <laughs> So I hope you all are well and you got what you wanted during celebration. That was sure a fun event. They had great products this past time. I really enjoyed them. Oh, you know, that one looks like it moved. Let's, let's just color a bunch of these. I have no idea how many I'm gonna use. So let's just go to town. If I don't use them now, I'll use them later. I tend to keep these pearls and um, the basic rhinestones it is a, those are staple items for me. And I think the thing I like about them is because I can change the color um, for whatever project I'm working on. So there we go there. We're gonna let those dry a little bit. And I just dropped that cap again. My goodness, let's see if we can get this card made. <laughs> Clumsy as I am this morning, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna swap out the colors a little bit. Let's do some, let me see. Let's see, what do I want to start with? I'm going to switch out the color. This is Shaded Spruce. We are going to, this time around, use Real Red. I wanted to see how it would look in Real Red. And I always think, why not practice when we're all together? You can see I always get ink all over myself. This is why I only um, tend to stamp in some pretty old clothes. <laughs> I am not always that neat. So. Typical dimensions, card dimensions here. This, ba um, this base is um, eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it at four and a quarter. So there we go, just like that. And then of course for the inside panel, I did this, because I did it in eighth inch increments, so I did it in five and three eighths by four and an eighth, and we'll add that. Let me push that over to the side. Don't want to get my ink on that. And then, you know, I was really kind of wondering, do you want black on a Christmas card? But I really, really love this designer series paper. So I went with yes. I said, yes, yes, I do. 
Um, you could put a brighter color back there if you want, but I like the black, so that's what I went with. So this is cut, um, if I haven't said it and I might have, I get to go in, um, five and three eighths by four and an eighth. This designer series paper, five and a quarter by four inches. If I say anything wrong, read the blog post. That's usually your safest bet with me. And I'm just gonna use some stamp and seal here. And we're gonna adhere this piece down. Then we're gonna do a little stamping and a little heat embossing. I'm using the tree lot dies um, that were part of celebration. You would not, if you don't, if you didn't get the dies, let me show them to you. If you did not get these tree lot dies, don't worry. Because, oh, you can see I have some amount. Look at this trailer. See, the trailer is just adorable. That's why I got them. Um, but you could see that you could easily um, just emboss a design on your tree. In fact, I said we were gonna heat emboss and we're not. That's what I did on a different card. We're actually not gonna heat. Oh yes, we are, because we're gonna heat emboss the greeting. I tell you, I feel like I need a do-over for this video. I just need a do-over. Let's do our heat embossing now. Let's go ahead and grab my, my little tray over here. And we'll grab our Versamark and our red strip here. And I'm just using the white embossing powder. This is what Versamark is. It's just a watermark. It makes it nice and sticky so things will, will stick. This is the um, embossing buddy. Kind of gets rid of all that static. And I'm going to take out of our stamp set, which I don't even think I've shown you yet. Oh, good morning, Mary Ellen. Um, I'm going to use the Trees for Sale Christmas Greetings. And look at all this. Now, look, there's a puppy down here and the Trees for Sale sign. This is just a wonderful set. Um, and it is in our mini catalog. All right, let's get this going. Oh, I think I want my... I don't want my mat here. Since these are photo polymer, I'm going to use this. And let me see here. So Lucy, for those of you who follow around, who follow for our puppy too, Lucy graduated from her first class last night, her first puppy class. So that was pretty exciting. I'm gonna say she didn't do great. Um, so we're retaking the class. She's a little slow to go. She's only seven months and she is a lab and labs are a little tougher to train um, sometimes. So, so it's okay. We're just, we're just going to retake the class. Okay. I'm going to try and get this as even as I can without getting my head um, under the camera, which I'm doing more for me than you, to be honest, because I didn't do my hair this morning. Um, I think that'll be okay. And if it's crooked, we're not going to worry about it. Um, it's a handmade card, right? So let me go ahead here. You can see I've got some of the white powder here. Let me just, oh, you know what? We're just going to do this. I'll put it away later. I've been embossing, getting ready for craft shows and doing different things. So oh, let's see here. Yeah, that'll be fine. I think by the time we're all done. Is that a little crooked? I can't really... I think it is. You know what? It's okay. Let's just let's just forge ahead. You all don't need to watch me watch. Cut more paper. It'll be fine. Anyway, I'm going to grab the, the heat embossing tool and you're going to watch this melt. Now, turn down the volume because it can get a little loud. So go ahead and turn down your volume here and let me see here. Oh, I think I need to move it to the other outlet. Let's see here if I can get this going. Oh, that'll be better. Much, much better. Now I can do it. Okay, turn down the volume because it gets loud, but I want for people who are new to stamping, see how this melts, um, but it does get loud. And I did warm up the heat tool before I came on. So if you have any questions about products, techniques, the sale, anything, I'll leave a few minutes. Oh, see, you can see it start to turn um, at the end of the video. 
for you to ask those questions. Oh yeah, this will be fine. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna turn this off and see, you can see how that just melts and makes such a nice greeting there. All right, let's get out our strip of the basic black. And this is cut to fit along that designer series paper. So this is an inch, what did I say? Um, I just found a piece of paper. All right, well, let's just go ahead and put this here. You know what? I don't think I'm going to actually adhere this part because this has a little bit there. So I'm going to show you how to do it, but I'm not going to put the whole thing together <laughs> quite yet. Let's do some stamping. Let's get out our big tree here. And because we can put everything together, you'll see how the card comes together. But I think I want to do a little bit better job on that, but not make you watch, you know, me redo something. So let's go ahead and use our... Let's see here. Is this block gonna will this work? This is the one I have out. Yeah, I don't know. Let's grab a different one. Let me grab a different one here. All right. So do you all ever do that? Do you find yourself every now and then just you know getting a little bit off and then finding yourself redoing and redoing? I don't often have to redo things, but sometimes for sure I do. So just tap, tap, tap. These are photopolymer. So you're going to want to make sure that you get good coverage on this. I'm gonna be die cutting this. And I think with this, normally I would use for a photopolymer that I really want to make sure I got good coverage on. I would normally say that I would probably use a Stamparatus, but because I'm covering this up with the um, with the sparkly paper, which I'm going to show you right now, it is the glittery paper, the real red and white glimmer paper. This is also in the mini catalog. And this is so pretty. So this is the white. I don't know if you can see the sparkle or not. And then we have the red. And I had to have this paper. Just had to have it. All right, so now we're gonna grab out our die cutting machine. I'm gonna grab the mini. And I'm gonna show you those tree lot dies. They're no longer available, but I just, like I said, you could heat emboss this if you wanted to. Um, it would work really, really well. But since I have them, I'm going to go ahead and just cut this out. And then I'll take that green one and cut that out too. The mini just seems to work a little better. Sorry, the table's shaking a little bit. I did ask my husband to make me a brace for underneath this desk. So hopefully he'll get to that pretty soon. So look, do you see how pretty that turned out? I'm gonna show you how that all comes together. Let me just get this off of there. We're going to get that one more piece. And let's go ahead and do this. All right, this is just a little too big for the die cutting machine. So I'm going to just look at how we do. Just tear paper. And let me grab my, let me see here. I'm just going to grab part of the sticky note, the one I took some notes on. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I keep this one in place. I don't want to have to keep redoing things. So we'll put that one there and this one there. So I am going to start, in case you haven't heard, um, I am starting actually a scrapbooking live the first Monday of every month. I'll come live and we'll do a scrapbooking layout together. And I am actually going to be doing one, even though it's Labor Day, I will be doing one this Sunday. Not Sunday, pardon me, Monday. I'm not sure I had enough coffee this morning. Goodness. All right. So 
let me get these pieces and I'm going to show you. So you could see, I'm going to glue this, but you could see that if you just re, if you used one of the stamps out of the stamp set, you could heat emboss this with your white powder and it would look just as beautiful. Just as beautiful. So I'm going to get my glue and you know, I have my toothpicks all the time. This is the silicone mat. So glue does not stick to this. So I am going to just put a little dab up here. Maybe, there we go. And I'm gonna grab one of my toothpicks that I always keep in here and I'm just gonna dab, dab, dab. You don't need a toothpick. Some people use the fine tip bottle and some people um, can just manage to do it with the glue bottle. I tend to, oh, got a little piece in there. I tend to make a big mess with the glue bottle. And I used to do quite a bit of quilling. So I got used, you know, got a little used to applying the glue with toothpicks to those quilling strips. And this is just what's easy for me. You could also use the adhesive sheets. Um, and normally if I was mass producing, that's what I would do. I would just cut out a bunch of them with, cause I wouldn't want to take the time to do um, all these little dots. I would use the adhesive sheets and cut them out that way. All right, hopefully my head's not in the screen. Like I said, didn't even do that hair this morning. So here we go. Just a few more dots and not everything has to be done. Um, I just mail so many of my cards. I like to make sure that I have everything stuck down well. Okay, let's put this here and you can see how pretty this this tree just comes to life. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at that. So pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, and so now I am going to show you, you know, I think I want to show you how this comes together. I think I'll put this. So this would lay like this. And then <laughs> I really want to redo this red piece. And then this piece is going to go just like this, but we want to put on those red pearls that we did. So let me grab those. I ever so carefully put them out of my way. So let's see if I can find them. <laughs> and let's go ahead here. So I want a larger pearl at the top. I just want that little bit of white at the top here. So let's put the white one there. I'm gonna do it against the red so you can see. Isn't that pretty? Then we're gonna add our red pearls on for our little ornaments. Isn't that so pretty? I just love these. So pretty. Oh, I could have gotten down a little bit further on the side. That's okay. I can always add it. Oops. Oh, thumbs, there we go. And then I just kind of went down, I did a little bit, went down, kind of made it, just add a little bit of interest here. One, two, three, four. I think I want to put one up here. Let's put one more towards this. Isn't that so pretty? You know, since I have them, I think I'm actually going to do more. Let's see, let's put one in the center. And I tend to do things in odd, so that's seven. Isn't that just so pretty? All right, let's put this on our card base. And then I'm going to show you what this card will look like when it's all together. Um, but I'm going to redo the heat embossing. <laughs> I'm going to redo that greeting. So what do you think? Do you think you'll pick up any of those dies that are on sale? Let's put this here and then we'll put our inside panel on inside the card. Let's do this. And for this one, I'll use the stamp and seal. So I think this is the first card in all the videos I have done that I will actually have completely completed by the time we're done because I want to redo something. 
but you know, there's a first for everything. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of the black and white trees. Oh, let's get this up. It's not right. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do it. Boy, this is one for the blooper reels, isn't it? I think I say that every time. All right, perfect. Let's go like that. Make sure that it sticks. Let me shut this just in case Lucy really gets to going. All right, so inside, you could add some of this black and white to the inside if you wanted. I decided not to. I may stamp a tree in here. It is looking a little blah. I might have to do that. Anyway, then this would sit right, you would glue this before you glued everything down, but I'm gonna have to do it a little differently. Right here, wherever you want it to sit. And then your tree is going to sit here and you have a simple, easy to mail Christmas card. Just that easy. So I think that this is a fun, easy, very mailable card. This is it using the shaded spruce. And this is that fun layout that I like. That's again, very simple using some ribbon. And this is in that candy cane set. I can't remember the name of it right now, but I will have this one blog later in the week too. So anyway, you can see just three cards, just that easy. If you stamp your emboss your greeting right. <laughs> anyway, I really appreciate you hanging in there with me today. Does anybody have any questions? I'm happy to take a minute to answer. Um, if you're wondering about the sale of the week or um, any of the deals going on, um, the bundles, happy to take a second. Okay, no questions right now, but if you come up with a question, um, just leave a comment and I will check back and forth throughout the day and I am more than happy to answer them. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you'll be with me Monday morning at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time for a scrapbook layout. If not, I'll see you next Thursday. Okay, take care.